So I built an arena in Valheim. Uh, <laughs> nobody who has been around for a long time is surprised at this. I have a uh, pretty decent like WoW PvP background, a pretty extensive WoW PvP background. So for me, if a game has a solid way that you can do any kind of combat, which Valheim does, uh, I'm going to find a way to turn it into a thing. Uh, we did the same thing with Space Engineers. We made Robot Wars in it, and that was just so, so much fun. Uh, and, you know, Valheim, the, the combat system here works really well. Uh, the latency can, you know, leaves much to be desired, but the late, but, you know, the actual combat itself still really works. Now, I built this arena on the same community island where we have a bunch of other relatively complex buildings that other people in the community have built. So that may have been a mistake considering you know, we kind of wanted to use this, but we are testing a another instance that will allow us to have a simpler world that does not have a lot of changes to it. We could build arenas and all that stuff to have kind of a more of a of an enclosed and kind of a private uh, and, and just, just a, a more streamlined pvp area that we can you know, have fun in uh now this this arena was built you know with uh with keeping in mind balance of different classes and cl there's no classes in valheim but people tend to lean towards certain uh, certain whether uh sword and board or whether ranged uh and some people tend to lean a little bit harder one way or the other now you are going to switch a lot you when you're when you're playing because if someone gets out of range you're just going to pull out your bow and just pelt them a couple times uh but the way that it's designed is to allow you to pillar hump if you need to which is basically breaking line of sight by moving behind like one of these pillars uh there's a wall that's long enough that you could sneak behind it when you sneak uh you actually disappear from the other player's hud like they can't actually see your name anymore so that allows you to move to either one side of the wall or the other and it's long enough that they can't just sit there and scan back and forth especially if there's another uh, another player in like if you're playing twos or threes or something like that they can't sit there and wait for you to come out they're gonna have to jump back there and try to you know, and, and try to force you out to prevent you from regening uh, stamina. Now, the arena is built with the, with the purpose of trying to get you to spend stamina because in Valheim and in a lot of PvP games, you know, once you start, once you lose mana or once you lose energy or stamina or whatever your resource is, that's when you start to take damage because you use that res those resources in order to prevent yourself from taking damage or to do some kind of crowd control or to just do damage to the other player. So in this arena there's lots of small things that are set up and designed specifically to force you to spend stamina there's logs all over the place the logs are there because you can't really walk over them you have to jump or run around them uh and or in some cases you could run over them uh but not necessarily just walk so that's that's a stamina spender uh there's uh there there's the water pit in the middle that if you jump in it, if you try to run through it then you're going to spend stamina to kind of get through it otherwise you're going to go through a very slow walk uh you know the 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 pool the little pool of water the water trap and the two uh, fire pits that flank it that's designed because in a way where it, you're in the fire zone the heat zone no matter where you're at in this arena right or sorry, in this pool so once you hop out you're going to lose that wet buff and, or debuff and you don't want that wet debuff because if somebody nukes you with a frost arrow like you're done it does so much damage and so this is designed in a way where if you get wet you can hop out and and dry off very quickly um you know, overall, like, I mean, it, it's it's a really fun, it was a really fun project, and, you know, I appreciate all the BFF community members who, like, farmed some resources to help make this happen. Uh, this, ser this server is just so amazing. We have so many people that, you know, hop on and off, and they build so many crazy things. And, yeah, I mean, I just want to say thanks, and I really love this project, and I really hope that, you know, the, the netcode tightens up, because I want to do more of this. It's so, so much fun. Thank you so much, everybody that contributed. All of you guys who are watching, my name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. This is Valheim. I'm going to see you guys later.